Dividends play a key role in most strategies to extract profits from a company tax efficiently. Please see our video in which we discussed how much dividends you ought to consider taking. In this video we will look at the things you must do to declare and pay dividends correctly. While some accountants may disagree, at DEB we feel that dividends that are done by accountants in retrospect are a very poor alternative to properly declaring, documenting and paying dividends at the correct time. It's possibly only a question of time before HMRC challenge either the validity of such dividends or the actual timing of them. Why leave such an important part of your profit extraction strategy to chance and good fortune? It's far better to do the dividends correctly. This is what we will be discussing in this video. Key issue 1. Adequate profits. For a dividend to be paid legally, the company must have adequate profits after the deduction of corporation tax, out of which to pay the dividend. These profits can be those earned in the current period or those that are retained from profits earned in previous years. It's advisable that you have some way of demonstrating that profits were indeed available at the time that the dividends were declared. Key issue 2 Board approval. Before a dividend is paid, it has to be considered and approved by the Board of Directors. A minute of the meeting of the Directors to approve the dividend should be produced and retained as evidence that this important step has been done. It's important that this is done before the dividend is paid and not after it. Key issue 3. Payment. Once the dividend has been approved by the directors, they should then arrange for the dividend to be paid to the shareholders. You should evidence the payment with a dividend voucher for each shareholder. Whilst it's not essential that payment is actually made, at DEB we recommend that it actually is, as this provides further confirmation of the date of the dividend and reduces the possibility of this being challenged at a later date. Thus, each dividend should be covered by profits, approved by the Board of Directors, be adequately documented and preferably paid. Given these onerous and demanding requirements, it's evident that payment of over-frequent dividends could cast a degree of doubt that all the requirements have actually been done. For example, does it seem reasonable that a board meeting is held each and every week to support dividends that are paid weekly? For this reason, at DEB we recommend that dividends be done on a quarterly basis. We also make it easy for clients to correctly document their dividends. Our award-winning software DEB Connect enables them to produce all the necessary documentation instantly whenever they want. It's very important that all the legalities of dividends are carefully observed and are built into your profit extraction strategy. If you would like more help with this we would be delighted to meet and discuss it with you. Please give us a call for a free no commitment meeting on 01226 245824. It will be great to meet with you.